Hey everyone, it's Evangeline right here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the add-on and I'll also show you how to assemble it here on our Swagman Okanagan. This will allow you to convert your two bike carrier into a three bike carrier. Once you have everything assembled, it's simply a matter of removing or adding on eight bolts to convert your two bike to a three bike or back and forth. This is designed for the Okanagan 200 only, which is gonna be the two inch version of this bike rack. There's also an inch and a quarter, which is the Okanagan 125 version. And that one, you cannot put the add-on on because that will give too much leverage that isn't ideal for those inch and a quarter hitch receivers. So double check your current platform rack just to make sure that this add-on will work for you. You can purchase this add-on separately if you want to add it to your Okanagan that you already own, or if you want to get straight to the point and get the whole kit, that one is also available as a three bike carrier here at eTrailer, which has both the Okanagan 200 and our add-on assembly combined together. If you're curious to see how the Okanagan performs as a three bike carrier, check out my full review video there on that three bike kit page. Now, as for how it assembles, that's gonna be the focus of the video. Let's get to it. For the assembly, there's a good amount of assembly required, but a lot of that is stuff you only have to do once, like getting your cradles together and putting together your front mast. After that, you'll have three main parts that you will take off and put back on regularly if you want to add on and take off to your rack. With that being said, there are some tools included with your bike rack, but they don't really give you much leverage and you really need to tighten down those bolts. So what I do is I just pick up their respective bits. We're gonna have a five millimeter, a six millimeter, a 2.5 millimeter Allen key, and then we're going to have our 13 millimeter wrench. If your two bike platform is already installed and put together, the first thing you're going to do is use one of the Allen keys to pop the end caps out. You simply push in on those tabs and these will come off. Attach your four plates and your spacers. These will go into the tubes. Make sure to hold on to them so you don't drop them through the tube. And go ahead and thread your plate in place to keep their spot. Now fit your secondary pieces over. If you have a front cradle, you're gonna then attach a rear cradle beside it and vice versa. This will fit over the new brackets that you threaded and now put your other bolts in to secure it. The other piece will go on the same way. You're then going to tighten down all the bolts with your five millimeter Allen key. You can see here why having a ratchet wrench with that Allen key bit gives you so much more leverage compared to the little Allen key. Finish it up by popping those end caps back on the ends. And that's gonna be it for your install. Now that you've had everything put together, if you do need to take the add-on back off, the only tool you're gonna need handy is that five millimeter Allen key. That will remove the eight bolts, making for a quick and easy removal and add-on process. I do recommend continuously checking your bike rack though. Give it a good shake and pull every now and then to make sure that everything is still lined up and you don't see the individual add-on moving more than the rest of the rack. But other than that, it's gonna be a very straightforward process. This is going to be the add-on piece that you will need to convert your two bike Swagman Okanagan into a three bike carrier. You just saw it right here at eTrailer.com.